HCAM was live on Facebook as ahead of the state primary election in September, the ballot machines were tested out. Town manager Connor Deegan filled us in on the process. So essentially what we're doing is just showing that the machines are working at proper capacity, that they're reading all the ballots properly. Uh, it's really just to ensure the public that the machines are working and that there's not going to be any issues on election day. Uh, and it also gives us the addition of seeing how that all the machines are working, all of the cards are working correctly before we actually have to have them out in the field. Now, have these ballots been filled out already to just uh, test and see if the machines are reading them correctly? Yes, these ballots are all filled out, uh, and then we have a spreadsheet set up for what the results should be. And then we see what the, that the results on the tape will match the results of what we put in. So I see four machines here. They're going to be testing all of them? Yep, we're going to test all of the machines. Uh, and then there's a memory chip for each one, and then a spare memory chip for each one as well. So one for each precinct, and then one spare machine. So we're going to test all of the machines with all of the chips. Is this your first time as town clerk going through this process? Yes, it's my first time doing it as town clerk. Um, I had helped uh, Jerry with it once when she was preparing for an election, but otherwise this is the first time doing it as the clerk, yes. Rick McMillan is serving his third presidential race as a warden, and warden Russell Ellsworth has also been around for a couple of years. I'm just I'm, I'm one of the I'm one of the wardens. I guess I would call myself the assistant wardens. And, and historically, when there's been ballot testing, uh, the wardens have been present to make sure everything is working chip shape because at the election, we're the ultimate uh, authority and making sure things run all right, along with the town clerk, of course, that everything goes okay. So that's why I'm here. Excellent. How long, how long have you been doing this? Well, I started off as a machine inspector about uh, seven years ago, and I've, I've been a warden, as assistant warden, for about two years now. Cut the machine off and turn it back on, okay. and it'll say, well, this is insert fully voted balance, so you said yes to vote fully. I'm a representative with LHS Associates. Um, we actually... Um, service the AccuVote tabulation system that you guys use for your um, elections. Um, so I'm here just as a customer service um, to Connor, whereas he is a new town clerk. Um, we do offer it um, at no fee to the community, even though the machines have been out in the field for 20 years here, um, to just make him more comfortable with the uh, voting machine, the system, the policies of testing, any questions he may have. Uh, regarding the testing procedures. So I'm just here as a courtesy. Write-ins have been entered and spots clearly marked where entered. So what this machine does is it will automatically mark ballots for anyone who might not be able to use a marker to actually mark the ballot, whether it be because of a disability. Sometimes uh, it can be as simple as not having full muscle control, or it could be as complex as uh, people who are blind. There's actually braille right along the bottom here, and there are headphones to where that will explain how the ballot will work so that you can mark it up even if you can't see it. So it essentially allows for many people who were never able to vote without assistance to vote all on their own. Mm -hmm. okay. now, is, do they have one of these at every precinct? or They have, every election hall is required to have at least one. Mm -hmm. So one will work for all of the different precincts uh, because they're programmed with the chip to work with the ballots that we're given.